Sir. Good, good, good morning, sir. Sorry, sir, I did not see you coming. Are you alright? Yeah, yes, sir. I'm fine, sir. Are you sure? I'll be fine, sir. You know, I was able to mix business and pleasure perfectly well at an event I attended over the weekend. Uh, uh, about it. Okay. So the celebrant introduced me to one of his rich guests. Now this guy shouldn't be that's more than he shouldn't be more than 32 years of age. And then they asked me what the business he can invest a hundred million naira in. Hundred. Yeah. Million naira. Yeah. Unfortunately, I couldn't ask him that question. That's <laughs> <laughs> stupid to ask in the first place. <laughs> but bottom line is, I was able to convince him that we are on one of the best investment company ever, and is willing to do business with us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. But have you called him yet? No, 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 no. I don't want us to be too forward. Okay, I didn't want to hit right on it. I wanted to run it through by you, and then we come up with a conclusion. It's, it's not about running it through by me. <laughs> this guy could have been drinking alcohol for all you care. No, no. Come on, this guy's made a drink, they become stupid. <laughs> Calm down, Fred. He wasn't drunk when we were having this discussion. He didn't I, even I, take I, alcohol. Well, are you sure he's just a bottle? No. Yeah, he didn't bottle. Take nothing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, are you telling me that we can invest our time, energy, and resources in this? Sure, we 100%. can. Hundred percent, we can. But then he said he doesn't want anything in real estate because he already has a lot of investment in that sector. So, so is that? This person, you can imagine how much investment he has in that sector to be able to say a thing like that. Who says a thing like that? Well, he does. <laughs> thirty-two years old. Yeah, thirty-two young dude. But then I have a few ideas. I'll just you know run it through by you send you a draft for your proposal. So. Right. Yeah, that good? Let's get to it. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'll see you, sir. See you around, bro. Two, one, two, one, yeah. One. Okay. That can work. To drop the waste bin, sir. Yeah, that's fine. Sir, are you okay? I'm fine, sir. Sir, you don't. You don't look fine to me. What's the problem? Yes, sir. Uh, I don't want to bother you with my problem, sir. Okay, I suggest that uh, you talk to someone if you think I would be understanding of your problems. I don't want to bother you, sir. I'm fine. You know, I like my cool staff to be in the right frame of mind. It's very important and necessary for productivity in the company. Um, sir, it's my madam. She's yet to pay me my salary for three months now, and I, I'm in dire need of money. Three months? I don't think the company has owing the agency that brought you here anything. Who do you call? Sir. Sir, sir, who do you want to call? The accountant. I want to know what's happening because I don't. I'm not sure this is from the company. Sir, please, please don't. Why? Sir, like you said, I am sure the company has paid my madam, and I don't want the management to start asking her why she's yet to pay me my salary, sir. She might just think I reported and sack, and she will sack me. It's not right. This is very wrong. I mean, every liberal deserves a wage. So hopefully she will pay me as soon as possible because I cannot even go one week without my salary. <sighs> Thank you so much, sir, for your concern. Wait. Mm. 
They should be thirty thousand naira. Huh? Um, I think uh, I don't know if that'll be able to meet your immediate needs, but. Ha, ha, sir, sir, I don't know when they will pay me my salary. So I can pay you back, oh. And by the way, it's not a loan. I'll ah. dash you the money. Eh? So you dash me? Yeah. <laughs> get up, get up, get up, get up. Ah, thank you so much, sir. God bless you. May God bless you, sir. May God replenish your pocket. Every fault, sir. God bless you, sir. Oh, my God. Thank you. Amen. So thank please you, get up and get back to your work, thank okay? You. Okay, sir. <laughs> thank you, sir. Yeah, I'm already cleaned the office. Yeah. Sir, no and uh, <laughs> you just returned it. I just... <laughs> Sir, let me go and use soap and water to wash it properly. Sorry, that's not necessary. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Here we are, guys. I'm in my boyfriend's place. He's at work at the moment. But I'm here to surprise him. I can't wait to see the surprise on his face when he gets back and sees me in my royal sexiness waiting for him on his bed. <laughs> Gosh, I can't wait to see the reaction on his face. I know you guys can't wait to So I keep you posted. Alright. Okay. Ah. Okay. Mommy, I'm in his office now. So my mom wanted to give it to you. Oh. Um, hello, ma. Eh, uh, Alfred. Thank you, Mr. Fred. Thank you, oh. God bless you, Chim Gozegi. Eh? See, Sarah told me how God, how you allowed yourself to be used by God to bless us. God will, be, God will bless you. Amen, ma. God will promote you in that office. Amen. See, God will promote you to the post of CEO, eh? Amen, ma. Thank you so much. Thank you, God bless I don't know what to say. I don't know how to start. Thank you. Eh, Dalu, oh. I mean, Sarah is a hard-working girl. I can't stand to see how happy in the office. Ah, thank you so much. You are a good man. You are a good man. Eh? God will bless you. Thank you, oh, darling. God, God will bless you. Ah, one. Bye, oh. Bye. You didn't have to tell your mother, you know. Ah, sir, she was so happy when I told her what you did for me. And she said she wanted to pay for you, so I put it. Thank you so much, sir, again. Ah, thank you so much. Thank you. Wanted to see you. I wanted to see you. Come on, child. Calling me now, okay, okay. Ah. Hey, boyfriend. Hey, you. How's your day going? Great, and yours? I'm good. I'm just here, bored in my apartment. Can't wait to see you over the weekend. Mm, are you sure about that? About what? Are you sure I would not see you before the weekend? Yes, I'm sure. I have a lot of things to do. I won't have time to see you before then. Mm. So, where are you at the moment? I just told you I'm in my house. Again, are you sure about that? 
Why are you asking me all these funny questions? <laughs> well, next time you're trying to surprise me, maybe you should consider not posting it on social media when you know I'm one of your followers. Ah! Oh no, you saw the video! I forgot you were following me. Well, thank you for trying to surprise me. I'll see you later. Well, I will not be here when you return. What do you mean you'll be there when I return? What's the point? The surprise has been ruined. I'll see you over the weekend. You're not serious. Better be home. I am. Bye. It was like a miracle when he gave me that 30,000 naira. <laughs> mm. That man likes you. I hope you're not slacking. How do you mean? Is he married? No. <laughs> then you must understand what I'm talking about. Hmm? No man dashes a girl that kind of money without having interest in her. Mm -mm. So you think he wants to date me? Yes. Hmm? And you have to be strategic about it. I want you to make yourself available, you know now, as a woman to express himself fully. Eh? You got a good? Eh? <laughs> Mommy, I cannot do what you're asking me. I can't. So, what I is it? Know. Is he not handsome? He's handsome, smart, uh -huh. smells really nice. Uh -huh. Oh my God. <laughs> Mommy, whenever he walks into the reception mm -hmm. in the morning, he fills the entire building with his lovely, masculine, wonderful smell. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> Sarah. Mommy? Sarah, Sarah. Sarah, you like him? You like him? Well. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, Sarah. My Sarah, Sarah. Mm? He has given you the green light. I want you to show him that you like him too. Mm? You know now, we need the, that kind of man in our family to help us out of our financial burden. Okay, you got that. So money is the reason why you want me to be with him? Oh, I just mentioned one. Continue. Continue now. I'm home. <coughs> Linda. Linda. Linda? So much you really went home. Linda! leaving because the surprise was ruined. And uh, why are you whispering? I'm not whispering. So, if I open the bathroom door, I won't find a light-skinned, beautiful girlfriend of mine somewhere in there? No, I'm in my house. Huh? 
<laughs> Come out, Joe. Come. <laughs> Your head. <laughs> Funny girl. Babe, come out! Linda. Linda, why? Oh, why is there no food in the kitchen? I didn't cook. So what have you been doing since? Chilling. You didn't ask me to cook. Well, I expect you to use your discretion and know the right thing to do. I have been expecting you to use your discretion and put a ring on it for the longest, but you haven't done that. Did I complain? Has it not occurred to you that probably the only reason why I have not put a ring on it is because of attitude like this? What attitude? So you don't know the appropriate thing to do is to cook for your boyfriend? Same reason you've not considered it appropriate to take our relationship to the next level for three years two, now. Two years and four months, Linda. Not three years. So how long do you expect me to wait for exactly? I expect you to know the right thing to do and do it. That's called home training. By the right thing, you mean me playing wife for the prize of girlfriend? Sorry, I did that in the past and I've learned that it's not a smart thing to do. Oh, I see what's going on here. <laughs> I see what's going on here. So now I am paying for the mistakes of your exes, right? That's what's happening. No, that's, that's, what, that's, 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 that's what's going on here. Come, I am paying for the mistake of your exes, right? Can we drop this topic? No, we cannot drop this topic. Because you're being irresponsible. You're being irresponsible to prove a point to me that you don't want to be taking for a joke or whatever. But guess what? This thing you're doing will affect our relationship. Okay? And as I'm going up now, I'm very sure you will not use your head and go and make me boiled egg and noodles. Oh, here's sitting down. He wants a wife. Put a ring on it. Is this you? Yes, sir. You look different. How? Um, I, I think your hairdo and, and makeup. Are you going for a party after work today? Not at all, sir. Alright then. I'd uh, see you around, okay? Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, bro, I I have gone through this proposal back and forth, and a lot of key details are missing in this proposal. Now, my thing is, there is no way that man will be impressed with this proposal enough to entrust such huge amount with us. Fred, I left out certain details on purpose. My thing is, we need to, as much as possible, show this man where everything Kobo is going into. I'm talking about a detailed breakdown in black and white. Sarah, what is it? Um, sir, I wanted to ask if you want a cup of tea. No, thank you. What about coffee? No, I'm fine. Look, we need to review. So, will you like any other thing? Sir, Maybe tea, I don't coffee, want, water? I don't want anything. I'm in a meeting right now. There's a meeting. Can you excuse us, please? <coughs> you can you excuse us, Sarah, please? Sir, are you sure? Sir. Um, so listen, Fred, my point is this, okay, we might end up boxing ourselves in a very tight corner if we put out certain details all in the process of trying to convince this guy. Alright, you know government policies are now it changes from time to time, and how that also affects investment. Think about it. We need to review this proposal to increase our chances with this man. And I am talking out of experience. Okay? Take. Please. Alright then. I'll see to that. <clears throat> Mommy, the way that man ignored me today as if I was a nobody. Why did he do that? Yeah, maybe he woke up on the wrong side of the bed or probably pressure from work. I even went to his office to ask him if he wanted tea or coffee, just for him to notice me. Uh -huh. But this man asked me to leave. Um, well, this is not a reason for you to give up. Remember, he was the same man that gave you 30,000 naira. 30,000 naira. Oh, which is the same reason why I'm wondering why he was so uptight and unfriendly today. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I'm stressed. It's stressing me out. Today is gone, my Sarah. Tomorrow is another day. Mom, you're not a musician. <laughs> wow. All for you. <laughs> I'm tired and stressed. Oh. Don't worry. Mm? I know how to take care of you, okay? Oh, yeah, go on. Fresh enough. Eat your favorite. Why is it? it? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> You always complain about things that should come naturally to you. You are making a mountain out of a mole, you Fred. You don't clean, you don't cook, you don't wash. You don't even help me pick my laundry. What are you doing, Linda? I what am are not you going to pretend to be happy doing what I don't want to do. What's the essence of dating or being in a relationship when you cannot do these little things? Okay, when I'm not here, how do you take care of these chores yourself? Cooking and all, how do you do I it? I do them myself when I'm alone. Exactly. So, I will excuse you so you can stop complaining and you go to them yourself. Okay, oh, what, what are you doing? I'm leaving you so you can stop nagging me. Okay, so now I am nagging. <laughs> no, well, that, now I am nagging, right? Yes, You're leaving me. Now, now I am nagging. And I can't stand it. Great. This is the bed that you lay on. Look at it. It's unkept, undressed. You would not even dress them. You leave it for me, right? Man, stop complaining. Linda. What? Linda, li li Linda. Sir. Uh, turn off, you can, you can actually go. I said you can enough, you can go. Do you want something? Please, you 
can go. Uh, okay, sir. Linda, I have been calling your phone. I've been calling your phone and you are not responding at all. Okay? I, I, I believe you had enough time to think about your actions and understand that you are wrong. What, what you did was very wrong. You are, you, you, I believe you were reacted. Look, come when you want to talk. I love you. Do you want to cry? What's up? It's Linda, it's Linda, Linda, she is driving me crazy. I, I don't know what to do with that girl. Not so you to her to fight. Look, she's getting worse with the ideology of not wanting to play your wife with for, for, for the price of a girlfriend. I mean, what does that even mean? Huh? She's totally useless when she comes to the house. She does practically nothing. Nothing! Well, I, I think that she's trying to pass a message. What stupid message is that? Yeah. She wants commitment. She wants you to propose to her. That's what I think. She wants you to propose to her. Mm. How do you want me to propose to you when you are not even encouraging me enough to propose to you, to see you as a wife and propose to you? <laughs> but you know Linda is almost a spoiled brat. No, I'll take away the almost. She's an outright spoiled brat. But you love her that way, don't you? Well, she's making, she's making it hard for me to stay in love with her. <laughs> and that's the truth. Oh, calm down. I don't think that's um, too much of a problem. You guys will be fine. I'm sure you'd sort it out. I'm sure. Hopefully. By the way, what's up with the, with the man who sent the, sent the proposal to? Oh, that. He said he was going to get back to us before the end of um, business today. So, fingers crossed. Hey, come on. Calm down. I don't understand women sometimes. Sometimes they just act like they were sent from hell to mm -hmm. make us. No, no, no. They, they are not sent from hell. They are sent from heaven. How would you feel if they, if they said you were sent from hell? Okay, um, I, I think we should um, get some drink. What do you think? Hey, come on. You can't get yourself walked up over a woman. Okay, I'm out of here. I'll see you later. Hello, mommy. Sarah, how far? I'm fine. I want to go help some staff get snacks. Is it snacks for Fred? No. <laughs> mommy, forget that guy, I beg. Is he still unfriend unfriendly? <laughs> he asked me to leave his office when I was cleaning and trying to get him to notice me. <sighs> okay, I still think you should not give up yet. Eh? I, I, I still believe he loves you from the way he spoke about you the other day, okay? Mommy, you spoke to him for less than two minutes. Don't worry, I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm talking about, oh? You are the only one that knows what you're saying. I need to run. Eh? I'll call you later, mom. Okay? Did you get the mail? Yes, I did. You did? Congratulations, I got it. I tell you. <laughs> uh, oh, you brought wine? Yeah, I did. Fabulous. We have to celebrate. Mm-hmm. It's okay, it's part of it, it's part of it. Uh, um. Okay, so, this is to many more deals. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're a genius, you know. Hey, uh, hey. I mean, it's not my glory, okay? We did this together. It's a team. Teamwork. Besides, you brought the deal on board. Ah, whatever. I know. But I mean, we did this thing together. Yeah. Tastes good, right? Good. <laughs> you choose good drinks. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm always good with wine. Mm -hmm. Very, very good with wine. So, according to the mail, we get the first 50 million now, and then the other 50 million four months after we start work. And the, the best part of everything is 
by the time they've seen the work we've done and what we do, the results, they will not hesitate to pay us. They won't have a choice. That's and even more, I tell you. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's closing time already. I need to get going. Yeah. We have an important appointment to catch. So, I'll uh, see you later, okay? Great. Um, mm. Yeah, I was just looking at the bottle. Hey, 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 hey. I, I knew you were going to take it. I was just looking at the bottle, so please just drop it back. It's, it's my drink. Just drop it back, bro. I, I I'm still drink. drinking. You're drunk, Kat. Thank you. <laughs> have fun. Have a nice day, man. You too. Mm. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. You look Great. so happy. Yeah, why wouldn't I be happy? Myself and Fred just closed a big deal for the company. Wow! <laughs> congratulations, sir! Thank you, thank you so much. I also much. have good news, sir. Oh, really? Tell me about it. And my dad paid my outstanding salaries today. Really? Mm -hmm. That's good to hear. All right, then I would uh, see you later, okay? Okay, sir. Yeah, okay, sir. Take congratulations. Care of you. <laughs> good to <too>, sir. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Yeah, come in. Hello, sir. Hi, Sarah. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. Congratulations on the new deal, sir. Mr. Anthony told me about it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and thank also, you. I have come to let you know that my madam has paid me all my salaries. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, for real? Yes, sir. Well, that's great news. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. You know what, since we are both in the celebratory um, mood, why don't you sit down and join me for a drink? Okay. You're done for work, right? So, <laughs> let's have a drink together. Let me give you some. Uh, there we go. So, so um, everything good? Everything working out? <laughs> <Yes>. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Mm. Do you like it? Yeah. It's very nice wine, you know? Yeah, from Spain. <laughs> yes, very nice. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Mm. See, you've thanked me enough. You, you you just keep thanking and thanking and thanking. It's enough to thank you. You know, um, funny thing is I... I have actually been curious about you. You know, you, you're not like the average cleaner out there. You speak well, and you do your work with diligence. Thank you, sir. And I also think you're very hardworking and um, handsome. You think I'm handsome? Yes, I am certain I'm not the first person to say that to you. Well, um, not really. <laughs> A few people here and there have told me how it's on my day, but it's not a big deal. Um. Thank you. Are you sure you want to leave?
Good morning, you. Hey. Good morning, Sarah. Um, I know you're busy at the moment, but I would like us to talk during lunchtime. Talk about what? Um, I was hoping you won't talk about what happened yesterday. We don't have to wait too long to talk about what happened yesterday. What happened yesterday was a mistake. It was a mistake I regret so much. Look, I, I, I was caught in the mix of my personal issues that had nothing to do with you. And alcohol, and I apologize for everything that happened yesterday, but it was not supposed to happen. Uh, no, I, I don't want you to apologize. I want you to know that I want you just as much as you want me. As much as I, 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 I want... You know what? Move back, move back. Move back and stand straight. As much as I want you? Are, are, are you kidding me? You can say anything you want to say in this world, but don't insult me! You know, I spent the better part of yesterday night in regrets. And this morning I was scrubbing myself, almost peeling off my skin, trying to scrub off the filth, the disgust that you left on my skin. And you sit down here and you stand here and talk to me about me wanting you. Are you mad? What is wrong with you? Uh, I thought what we had yesterday you was magic. What? I thought it was magical. You thought what? Are you even listening to yourself? Are you even listening to yourself? You thought what? Look, let me tell you something. Listen and listen clearly. Let the sink into your damn brain. You and I are not on the same level. We are not on the same class. We are not even belong to the same standard. So don't you ever. I, I, I don't want to hear this anywhere. I don't want to hear this anywhere. If I ever hear this anywhere, you lose your job that day. Are you listening to me? Do you understand me? What are you talking Shut up! What are you talking to me? I do not believe you're talking to me like this. You don't need to believe nothing. Look. When you came in here, you said I was busy, right? Go back to your work. Your job here is a cleaner. You're supposed to be cleaning all these places, cleaning the goddamn reception and the whole office. Not sitting down here, was standing with me and telling me that you don't like want you. Are you mad? Oh, Shut up and pick those things on the floor. That's your job. <laughs> pick those things on the floor below the table. Now that's your job here. Now get back to your office. What happened yesterday? Yes, I forgot something. I came to pick it. Okay. 
Are you alright? Yes, mommy. Yes. So, what are you hiding behind you? Hiding? Nothing, no. <laughs> mommy, I'm fine. Uh, show me your hand. See? The other one. The other one! Test and it's positive. Oh, Sarah. Sarah, what happened? Nothing. Nothing. Sarah, no, just you can talk to me. I am your mother. Okay? You can tell me anything. Talk to me. I am pregnant and I can't keep it because the man responsible does not even want me. <laughs> Who is responsible? Fred. That man at my office that gave me money last month. <laughs> Give me the drugs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what? Men are usually confused in a situation like this. You are the one that will make them do the right thing by force. Hmm? How, mommy? Just leave that to me. I know what to do. Yeah, get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. <laughs> We spoke over the phone some weeks ago. Okay, yeah. How can I help you, ma? Sarah had told me that two of you have been in a relationship for some time now, eh? Okay? No, it's nothing like that. No, Sarah, why would you let your want like that? So, hold on. Why would it be a lie when she's pregnant for you? She's what? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I'm pregnant and you are responsible. Oh. <laughs> You've heard from her. Stella here is not a small girl that she won't know who put her in, in that condition. So, uh, we are here to discuss about the introduction and how you're going to formalize things. There is nothing to discuss. But, uh, 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 um, with all due respect, ma, I advise you stand up and walk out of my office right now before I call the security for you. I will not talk to my mother like that, Fred. As a matter of fact, the both of you would stand up and leave here right now. What's wrong with you? Get out of my office. Are you okay? Get out of my office. Wait, wait, wait. What's going on here? Tell them to get out of my office. I am pregnant and Fred here is responsible. <laughs> Sarah, hmm? don't worry. Let's go. He needs some time to think about it and do the right thing. Oh, <laughs> let's go. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's up? Um, what, did, what did I hear? You and, and Sarah? I, I don't know how I, I didn't see that coming. I didn't see it coming either. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my god, this is, this is totally 
unbelievable. Wait, uh, okay, fine. I understand that lately Sarah has been looking very attractive. Uh, it's it's not hard not to notice her her backside when she bends over and cleans your table. You understand what I mean? I I, I understand all of that. But bro, you Sarah, that's totally unacceptable. It, it, it was a one-time mistake. I had too much to drink. I was drunk for Christ's sake. I was drunk, mm -hmm. and it, it happened in, 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 in this office. In this office? Wait, uh, this table? It's disgusting. How? I have to stop this. I'm already in a deep mess as, 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 as it is. <sighs> Linda is vacationing in, the, in, in Dubai, and she'll be back any moment from now. So what happens when she returns? Okay, fine. Um, you should calm down, okay? It's uh, uh, you and I know that Linda hasn't exactly been the perfect example of a wife material, so. We have been working ourselves back to it, uh, back to some level of perfection. Oh my God, I, I'm still in shock. But wait, um, uh, what what did they come here for? Did they did they come so that you can you know give them money to take care of the pregnancy? I wasn't going to give them the opportunity to insult me for that. I don't need to know what know anything. Listen. It's an insult for them to even come in here in the first place and tell me this rubbish. Uh, oh, oh, it wasn't. She's pregnant. It, it wasn't. For me. It wasn't an insult when, when you on this table called Fred. This is an advice as a friend, as a brother. All right, I, I call a meeting with them, and you guys should have a conversation on how you can pay them off to to get rid of the pregnancy. That that's it. Fred. Sarah. <laughs> oh, it's fine. I'm sorry. I said it was a mistake. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I just need some time to process all of this. It's, uh... <laughs> oh, okay. I would like to thank you all for honoring my invitation. Um, I mean, I called you here so that we can find meeting grounds for this messy situation that we find ourselves in. Sarah here would agree with me that what happened was a mistake between us and should never have happened. But as we have found ourselves in this, in this mess, I have decided to take responsibility for every financial implication that would arise from, from this mess that we find ourselves in. Thank you. <clears throat> now you're talking like a sensible man. We understand the economy right now. We will not make anything difficult for you. Um, the introduction, the engagement, and the white wedding will not be too elaborate. Uh, no, 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 no I, I think there's a mistake somewhere. How? Uh, but by being responsible financially, I do not mean, I'm not referring to anything, engagement, introduction, or, 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 or wedding. So what were you saying? <laughs> yeah, please, just talk to them now. What is all this? Okay. Um, This is what Fred actually means, okay? He's ready to pay you guys off. He's ready to give you money just to get rid of the baby. Over my dead body. Abomination! I will not kill my child. Okay, so you want to become a single mother, right? No, Fred. You and I will raise this child as a couple. Sarah. That is one joke that will never come to pass. It will happen. It has already come to pass. Huh? See, as a matter of fact, I am not living here with her. She's staying here with you. Sarah, if you will stay here tomorrow, I'll bring your load, okay? With all due respect, even considering your age as an old woman, you are a joker. All right. I put it to you that you are joking. Please <laughs> I, carry your daughter with you as you're going. I am a joker, isn't it? Yes, you are joking. I am a joker, isn't it? You are joking. Sarah, stay here. This is your husband's house. Sarah, stay here with your husband. stand up and follow your mother and I leave my house. I am not going anywhere. I'm playing, I'm playing with you, right? I'm playing with you. Leave me alone, you're hey, playing with me. Come on, leave my house. Calm down. What rubbish now? Just be calm. Come on. Calm down. Come on. Wait. Stand to leave my house. Why are you shouting? Just be calm. Come on, come on. 
It is not about come. Tell her to leave my house. Hold on, hold on. Let's talk about this. Freddie, you have to calm down. Just calm down, please. Daniel cannot stay here with me. You cannot. She cannot me. live in this house and share this space with me. You cannot hate her. So I should let her live here with me? Fred, listen, all right? You have to handle this thing very carefully, all right? Otherwise, things will get messier. Why is she forcing herself on me? Why is she forcing herself on me for Christ's sake? I have a girlfriend. Good. Luckily, Linda would not be around till the next two weeks, I think. All right, so that gives you enough time to clean this mess. Appeal to her conscience. Violence is not going to solve this matter. All. Think about it, bro. Can I take you home now? No. I am not going anywhere. Listen, Sarah, stop doing this to yourself. Fred has a girlfriend. Her name is Linda. She does not love her. Really? I am the one Fred is in love with. He almost threw you out of his house. It's, it's just confused and overwhelmed. When I found out I was pregnant, I was also very scared. I almost got rid of it. But when I came to accept reality, this is reality. Fred is not about to accept this reality. He will. Look, what Fred and I shared that night at the office was very passionate and, and so genuine. He blamed it on the alcohol. He was not drunk. I'm, I'm so sorry that I'm putting him under so much pressure. But we just have to find a way to make this work. We just have to. Goodbye, then. I see you enjoying yourself so much. Not as much as I would have if you were here with me. Don't worry, we'll pile on it down for the holiday. I miss you. I miss you, my baby. I miss you so much. So, when are you coming back? In two weeks' time. Okay. Alright then, take good care of yourself. You too. Love you. I love you too, baby. <laughs> Sarah here yeah, wants to kill me. This Sarah here yeah, wants to kill me. Sarah, I want you to leave my house in the next two weeks. Do you want your lunch now? I don't want lunch. I don't want dinner. I don't want breakfast. I don't want anything from you. I just want you to leave my house. You see, 
My girlfriend is coming back from her vacation in the next two weeks and I don't want you to be here when she returns. I'll give you 20,000 dollars if you can leave my house now. 500,000 naira to pack your things and leave my house and my life for good. If I collect that money from you, I will use it to go and buy baby stuff for. You are mad internationally. Something is spiritually wrong with you. They have, they have used your brain to do spaghetti spices in the village. What is wrong with you? I love you. Look, I don't love you. I can never love you. I will never love you. So get that into your thick skull. Why are you forcing yourself on me? What is it? I know you need time to process everything that is going on. And I'm willing to give you that time, okay? I don't need time. I only need you. To get out of my house. Do you understand? Yeah. Huh? Do you understand? See, you, you must be aware that Sarah's mom is at the reception constituting a nuisance and insisting on seeing you. I can hear her voice and I know she's there, but I don't want to see her. I told her to tell her mother's seat. <laughs> Guy, <laughs> see, now full basket of crazy that woman carry come here. Or that she's making all sort of noise at the reception and the staff are wondering what's going on. What am I gonna mess up myself with? <sighs> see, on top of one evening stand with a Stupid girl that is not up to my standard. Yeah, good. So, so you, you didn't think about that when you were going all nasty with Sarah in this office table, huh? You didn't think about that. Listen, I would advise you. Hmm? Just let that woman in and listen to what she has to say. Hear her out. <sighs> listen. If you don't do that right now, the chairman might just know about this, and you would lose your job. Let her in and tell her to shut up. She's making too much noise. Good. Good afternoon, ma'am. Keep your greeting to yourself. Keep your greeting to yourself. So you told your receptionist to lie to me that you are not on seat? Eh? Ma, I was not expecting you. I wasn't expecting you to impregnate my daughter and be responsible about that. Okay. What do you want? <laughs> Sarah called me and told me that you gave her two weeks to leave your house. Yes, very true. <laughs> the earlier you realize that you bought market and you need to pay in full, the better for you. Hmm? Ma. I'm going to say this in the nicest way possible. I give your daughter till this weekend to leave my house. If she doesn't leave my house, I am going to take extreme drastic measures towards her. <laughs> Fred or whatever you call yourself, if you try anything stupid, anything stupid, and we strip naked every day and protest. You dare not. This is a public space. You dare not try that rubbish. Eh? Yes. I dare not try. Yes. In a swivel, yeah? <laughs> that means you don't know me. You don't know me. <laughs> oh, as a matter of fact, hmm? I will start right now. I will strip naked and go around this. Hey, hey, please, please, please stop. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. What, 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 what are you doing? Stop it, please. Please sit. I will strip naked and protest to and tell everybody in this building 
what you did. There is no need for all of this. Please. What I want to hear is when you will come with your people and see us to fix the wedding date. Else, I will go to the village for you. What do you mean by go to the village for me? He can run. Just do the right thing. What do you mean by go to the village for me? This one. <sighs> that woman, that woman is crazy. She's she, she she's totally insane. Is she mad? She's just a concerned mother. I thought you said that she's going to take my name to, 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 to the village. What, what, what does that even mean? <laughs> it means that she's willing to go as far as imploring diabolical means on you. That's it. Like she, she, she's going to use voodoo on me? Uh, juju, yes. Juju? Yeah, juju. Can she, can she even do that? Yeah, you, you know, I told you, if you, don't, if you don't take things, you know, very carefully, they might get messy. You know, I, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to make my house as uncomfortable as possible for her so that she will live on time. How do you intend to do that? Just watch. Just watch. You shouldn't let things get messier, you know. I, I said just watch. My khaki, please help me get the khaki on the table, please. You didn't come up with your khaki. Please just help me, I beg. Help me, help me get the khakis. Sorry. Ah, uh, did you do fall? Fred, you did that on purpose, right? No. Why would I? Sorry, let me help you. Come. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Ow! Oh. Ah. Your nails. Did you did you cut your nails? You should cut your nails now. Come on. Ah. Hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just being clumsy. You know, I'm not used to having people around the house with me. Or maybe she just leave. You know, uh, at least that way I won't. I won't bump into you and pour hot water on your face. Maybe into your eyes. You just need to clean this place up. Oh, excuse me. So much mess. Oh my god. Seven? What, what sort of thing? 
think you was childish act as this? How am I even supposed to know that that's where you're going to sit down? Am I a spirit? Because this is my favorite couch in this house and you know it. Now that's the problem. You're not supposed to have a favorite anything in this house. It is not your house. You are not welcome here. It's not your home. Go back to your house in Ibutemeta or in Shangotedo or all those areas where you could stay. This is not your house. And that thing in your stomach is not... I, I don't want it. Okay? <laughs> okay. okay. He can never ever fail. Is it your idea for Sarah to resign? No. But it's good that it happened that way because I wouldn't have been able to stand her in my presence or my space at all. Have you at least tried to have a civil conversation with this girl? There is nothing civil about that low life. As a matter of fact, her and her entire family are beneath Hey, hey, stop. Just stop it. You don't talk about anyone like that. Not even someone you got pregnant. What's wrong with you? That was a reckless mistake. And I'm going to damn the consequences and chase that little chihuahua out of my house if she doesn't leave that house by weekend. Oh, really? I, I promise you. Okay, fine. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, that's what you're going to do. You're going to throw her out and she leaves, comes back after a few months with a baby. Then you have to be a part of that baby's life forever. Except you have chosen to be totally irresponsible. What kind of mess have I put myself into? You should have thought about that. <sighs> Come in. Oh, hey, Anthony. Hi, hey. sir. Yeah. Um, Fred is not at home. I know, it's you I've come to see. You'll be sent to here to try to talk me to leave, then you're wasting your time, okay? Uh, Fred is not even aware that I'm coming here. Yeah, right. Listen, Sarah. You're a very beautiful lady. I mean, everybody at the office talks about how hardworking you are to your cleaning duties. Don't, don't just, don't throw your life away just because of one silly mistake, Sarah, please. I will not kill my child. And I will certainly not be a single mother. Okay? I'm afraid you don't have many options, Sarah. I do. Which is what I have chosen. To stick around and fight for love. Sarah, Sarah, why, why, do, why do you want to fight? There's no need to fight when you have someone who... There's someone out there who, who, who will love you with all his heart. Come and think about it, Sarah. You, you don't have to do this. Please, you, you know, you, you know, you can, you can right this wrong now, Sarah. You can before it's too late. Don't waste your life, please. I beg of you. Sarah. Mm hmm. Mm. No, 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 no. Don't listen to him. Fred must have put him up to that convincing speech. I'm not happy. I'm not happy at all. Fred is not treating me well at all, mommy. We don't even sleep in the same bed. Don't worry. The most important thing is that you are under his roof. Eh? Don't worry. Everything will be all right, okay? Mommy, let me call you back. Who are you? I should be asking you that. You just entered my house without knocking and I locked that door. This is my boyfriend's apartment and I have his spare key. Uh, are you Linda? Yes, I am. Who are you? Nice to finally meet you. Please sit. Where is Fred? Fred is not at home. <laughs> and you were here alone as what? Sit down. No until you tell me who you are. 
My name is Sarah, and I'm carrying the first baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Good. This is some kind of pranks, right? No, it isn't. <laughs> no, this must be. You know, I pull pranks on Fred all the time. Which is why I told him I'm coming back next week so I can surprise him today. And you're telling me this because? Uh, because I have a feeling that he found that I'm back in town and I'm going to surprise him. Which is why he put you up to this to get back at me. <laughs> I wish that was true, dear. I've been living here for five days now, and I am expecting Fred's baby. I just need Fred to do the right thing, that's all. <laughs> this would be a good time for you to tell me this is a prank. How about we wait for the next seven months or think about to find out if it's a prank, or if I'm truly, truly expecting Fred's child. Hey, babe. You're back? You're where? Babe, 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 look, 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 what about she told you? Babe, 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 listen. Babe, babe, hey, babe, babe. Babe. Oh, God. What does this girl do now? Mommy? <laughs> 
Mami. Stay with him. 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 To eat her, bro, then you have to face bro, me man bro, to man. Bro, 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 no, bro, no, 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 I'm bro, not here to listen to other people. inside here. Go and carry her. That's what I've been asking for since. Are now. you okay? I'm sorry. Are you okay? I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not quite It's like your grandma is uncoding. No, no, no. I'll cut my ass. You're getting it wrong. Are you okay? I'm not a wild person now. I'm not a wild person. Are you out of your mind? You know what you mean? My brother. My brother. My brother. How will you act? My brother. As a worship, like you mean. Listen to me now. What is this? You are peace and you represent some other way of your son. I mean, just, just, just look at the two of you. Just look at. I mean, you should be ashamed of yourselves. Ooh. He was the first person to lay his hands on me first. He got what he deserves. You viewed my 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 my, 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 my idiot. Hey, 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 Did I impregnate myself? Fred, why would you even hit a pregnant woman? Who does that? You know that that's a new law for you, bro. That guy punched me on the face, almost took my eyes off. Which is not like four bags was meant. Eh? Look, let me tell you something. You better leave my house if not if I come down and see you here again. I else what? What will you do? Beat me up again? Aish. She has to leave my house before I come down. It's okay. Mm -hmm. She should. She should leave my house before I come I down. Heard you. That's it's, all. It's, it's fine. Oh. It's fine. Small boy. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, right. it's, 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 no, no, it's, it's fine. I heard that, but it's fine. It's okay. It's alright. <laughs> 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 Sarah, I hate that you're doing this to yourself. You used to be very focused and determined to be a better person. But you just want to ruin your life just because of one little mistake? Fred needs to be taught a lesson. Not, not in this way. You're hurting so much in the process. You know what? A two of you under the same roof is a terrible idea. Fine. I will move out. Thank you. But first, there's something I would like to tell you. What? Hi. What do you want? Uh, won't you let me in? Yeah, even lucky I came out to see you at all. Baby, look, Sarah and I was a one-time thing. It was a mistake. It's none of my business. We are over. Don't worry, don't say that. Look, I, 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 I have something to do. 
me. Look, I, I know you always wanted me to do this earlier, and it took a while. But there is no better time for me than now to tell you that I love you and I want us to be together. I, I, I want you to be my wife. Frank, you look and sound ridiculous. Please get up. Babe, come on. It's not about sounding ridiculous. I love you. You know. I, and I'm sorry for everything that happened. I've always wanted you to take our relationship to the next level, but you refuse blatantly. You got a girl pregnant, she's living in your house, and now you want me to marry you? No. Sarah doesn't live in the house anymore. She's out. Like I said, it's none of my business anymore. I love you. Come on. Someone else has taken the position you are trying to occupy. Mm -hmm. No. How? When? When? Just the way you kept your options open with the cleaner, I kept my options open. He proposed over the weekend and obviously I said yes. still didn't come to work today. But if you like it. <clears throat> I hope you won't feel like it also when you get fired. Do you, do you have any idea what I'm going through? Do you have a hint of idea of what I'm going through? Hmm? Tell me about it. Linda left me. <laughs> she cheated on me. She got engaged to some other man because of that bitch, that low life, Sarah. And how is that Sarah's fault? <laughs> how is it not her fault? Linda would never have taken a ring from another man. She would never accept a ring from another man. If not that she found out about the mess that Sarah, that low life bitch, put me in. Sarah's mess or your mess? Sarah's mess or my mess? Yeah. Of course it's her mess. That bitch is a conniving <sighs> bastard. Hey, hey, hey. She knew I was drunk. Don't she planned it. She don't came me. to the office so when I was drunk don't. and she used hey, me. Hey, she hey. got herself pregnant. That low base of a bitch. Don't talk about Sarah in that manner. Don't. That waste of human skin. Don't talk about her like that. Daughter of a don't talk about her like that. What's wrong with you? I mean that that girl could have could have been sleeping around with men. She could have been doing all sort of nonsense that ladies do. But she decided to come work as a cleaner. To make money and further her education. Listen, Fred. She's an OND holder. Alright? She just needs money after her dad died so she can get back to school. What has come over you? Calm down. Why are you taking this person? It is personal. Very personal because all you have done since this mother started was to demean her and treat her as trash. trash. That's the word you just called out by her sole name, bro. Hey, hey, listen, listen. Right. I said do not talk about her like that. If you continue to do this, I will treat you worse than a brother did to you. Are you, are you serious right now? Yes. Listen, Fred. 
You are the cause of your predicament, and you would remain in this mess for as long as you continue to disrespect her. You choke me. You choke me because of a low life waste of sperm. You know what? I'm done here. I'm talking about a waste of human sperm. A girl that her father should have used condom on the day he met her mother. A low life garbage waste. And you're jacking me, huh? Yeah? You're jacking me. Fred was being a jerk as usual. I just needed to put him in his place. I don't want to be the cause of any misunderstanding between the two of you. Listen, Sarah, this has nothing to do with you. Someone just needs to talk to Fred. I don't want to be the reason why two good friends are fighting. Honestly, this whole thing is dragging him real down. Trust me. This is the second time this week he's not been to work. And when I got to his place, I, I met him drinking his, his life away. He's not far from it, Sarah. He's not. Can, can you just be kind enough to help him out of this misery, please? I know what you mean. And I'll do just that. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm coming. Oh, hello, Fred. Um, can I come in? Hi. Yes. You did not go to work again today. Are you asking me or are you telling me? I am telling you. This is the third time this week. So how do you know? That's not important. Actually, I'm here to ask you what the problem is. Is it the fact that Linda broke up with you or the fact that you're having a child with me? But. Anyways, I'm here to let you know that you don't have to bother anymore. There's no more pregnancy, okay? What, you, you got rid of it? No, you did. How do you mean? I lost the pregnancy the day you beat me up. But you wouldn't notice because we have always slept in separate rooms. I bled all through that night. You don't have to bother yourself anymore because you're not having a child with this worthless animal, okay? No, please, don't, don't say that, okay? Please. It's okay, you never cared anyway, so... I'm sorry. I'm sorry for. I'm sorry for everything. No, it's not necessary. I, I'm okay, and I'm also sorry about Linda. Okay. How do you How do you take this in so so easily? <laughs> That's because I am in a better place now, emotionally, physically, and psychologically. Hello? Um, yes, I'm fine. I'm very well. <laughs> yes, I was in traffic for a very long time. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm here with Fred. It's, it's okay. Okay, I'll see you later. Okay, bye. <laughs> Who is that? Anthony. He's on his way here. Fred, you need to stop that, really. You need to. Stop it. Oh, 
Sorry, um, I'm later. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, bro. I I'm sorry about the last time. Nah, it's fine. I mean, you were drinking and you've always been known to make terrible decisions under the influence of alcohol, so it's fine. Um, Sarah is no longer pregnant, you know, she lost the baby. Yeah, yeah, she did. Very sad. She did. You... You already know? Yes, I know. How? When? I knew the day I talked her into moving out of your house. You... If not all this while, you said nothing? Well, she made me promise and uh, let her tell you herself and I had to respect her wish. You, you broke the bro code. Broke code. Broke code. Hmm? You know, speaking about broke code, there's something I'd like to tell you. What is it? But first, there's something I'd like to tell you. What? I lost the pregnancy to Fred's merciless beating. Oh my god. <sighs> but, Promise me you won't tell him. I would like to tell him myself. I promise. You know, I was going to stay here and torment Fred's life for the way he treated me. You don't have to, Sarah. You don't. So I've, I've, I've always tried to, to tell you how I feel about you, but you, you never listen. What are you talking about? Who do you think I was always referring to whenever I said someone out there loves you or will love you the right way? So I've always cared about you. I've always loved your personality. You know, you don't have to say all of this to me out of pity. No, I'm telling you the truth. I would have made my intentions known to you all this while, but I couldn't because we worked in the same company and you know what that means. As company staff, we are not allowed to date. Uh, I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything now. But at the right time, I'm sure you will. Just take your time. I took my time, thought about it, and we are dating now. Well, I just thought to let you know about it. I thought it was appropriate that you know. It's not like we're asking for your consent. It's just that Anthony here insisted and I had to agree. Are you not going to say anything, bro? I have nothing to say. Very well then. <laughs> this Bye. meeting is over. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Right. Okay? So, I'll see you at work tomorrow, okay? <laughs> Why do I feel so kind of way? This is what jealousy feels like. Is it? <laughs> 